You know, being someone who's been very observant their whole life, I've started to notice very teeny tiny obscure things recently. Specifically about this channel and this platform. Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So very recently, as I said, I've been noticing a couple different things. For one, I've noticed that and this is more on me as a creator, as the original founder of this channel. Um, I have adapted a lot, and this channel has done a lot to help with that. Of course, Pink Fox and Aaron have also done almost an equivalent amount of an impact to do the same thing. However, if we're talking about the channel on its own... I can actually list out quite a few things that have laid out a path for me as far as development goes. On the side, those of you who follow my vlogs a lot know that I talk a lot about different psychological groups. For example, the eight stages of psychosocial development and the five stages of grief. That kind of psychology is what helps me observe and realize like the kind of development that I've gone through over the past, I think it's been about four years since the start of this. What, what was the first video? Actually, I might not even have that on here anymore. I'm looking it up. Um, filter. Oh, duh. Wow. March 2nd, 2017, and that actually was the first video. Holy crap. I was wrong about what I claimed. I have owned this channel for a long time, and thinking back, I've noticed a development and change in attitude over a lot of different things. One thing still stands since the beginning, and that this channel was always originally supposed to be just a hobby. With the amount of progression we've been getting recently, I'm starting to treat it more like a job because of the fact that it's not particularly finances or anything like that. I do not get paid for this as of this recording at all. But I treat it like a job because I feel like with how far I've come in I've come into this and with with the addition of Pink Fox and Aaron as well. I feel like this channel should be treated a lot more professionally, so yes, you'll see goof-offs a lot, because, you know, it's still, in a sense, a hobby. It's still, you know, something that I cherish, personally. You're going to see a lot of goof-offs, but you're also going to see a lot more professionalism compared to how it started. Like, the very first video on this channel was called Facts with Francis. Yes, the character of Francis has existed since the very beginning, which is weird to think about, but it was also a very cringe-worthy video, if I'm being realistic here. Either way around, March 2nd, 2017 was the very first upload on this channel, and it was originally supposed to be a let's play of an attempted let's play of the vi the board game yeah not a video game the board game risk i was in my bedroom at the time and it just wasn't going well so i was like uh figure something out figure something to do and i randomly came up with like this stupid skit off the top of the head skit whatever came to mind first happened and it kind of worked, kind of didn't. If I were to redo that skit, I'd probably be able to do it a lot more smoothly, especially since this channel has the help of the other two individuals, Aaron and Amber, who are way better at scripting than I am. I'll say that right now. However, just looking at like the adaption between videos... March 3rd, literally the next day I uploaded something that was my own personal project and I had held on to for a very long time. But then there was a leap. 
This was long before I started consistently making videos daily. Let alone two videos a day. Rand the Random BS series was honestly the first kept series. However, prior to it, I did have a couple of gaming series that I took a shot at but didn't keep. I didn't even finish them. There was a lot of logging attempts that I went at, and a lot of derpiness. For example, there's a game called Splatoon, for those who don't know. Splatoon 2 was one that I tried Let's Playing, and I actually enjoyed it to the point where I still have it on here. And... It was humorous to me. I watched it not to watch the gameplay, or not for the game itself, but more for the humor that I let off. And the humor back then was a lot more... It was a lot more directed towards an audience who liked very immature um, humor. Now, that still exists, coexists today, but not even remotely like what it was then. Now, then again, it wasn't a constant even back then. After about... I've noticed, though, that... I'm not going to go through the entire history of the channel. That'll be saved for a way distant future when I also include the, a more leveled layout of my own personal life. However, I have noticed that... Over time, over the past five years, actually, holy crap, over the past five years, the development of the humor on this channel and my personal development on the side as well has completely shifted. Am I happy about it? Am I satisfied with the adaption? Well, to be honest, yeah. I probably would still be in the first apartment I was in, originally living in, and I, I probably would be putting up with a completely different crowd, and I use the term putting up very lightly, but I probably would be if it wasn't for the amount of change that happened to me within literally a five-year time period. The change has been so drastic, and it's... In reality, of course, because for those who know me well enough, my real-life mental state, I let show on this channel. I mean, for heaven's sake. I think as of this recording, it was about maybe a year ago, maybe a bit more, where I would legitimately there are several aspects to it I, I don't know if I can lay out all of them but I changed over a minor amount of time too the further in I went the more I did change to the person I am now I don't do the kind of jokes I mean some of them I do some of them I don't um but I'm very, very more aware. Let's put it that way. This channel, the people on this channel and the channel on its own have become well more aware and well more involved over time. And that's something that I really am happy about for the channel. I'm going to stop looking over at like the different vids that I put up because it's going to cause me to go all nostalgic at the wrong point in time. But that's kind of something I just wanted to talk about. I've really grown to appreciate the amount of development on this channel. If you guys are like if you guys are curious about that kind of stuff, why not check out the channel itself and you can probably check out the kind of stuff that I left on. It'll give you kind of an idea of how I was then if you want to look back then or if you're just curious about what's going on right now. Regardless, going to leave this video here. So thank you guys for tuning into this video. Um, this could be kind of an about me thing, or should I say about us? Want to check out that playlist? Click link on the side of my head. It'll take you to many videos that I have talked about, and some 
have been pink fox as well. Check that out, and why not learn some more about us? Or, if you're not quite interested in these kind of things, why not check the link on the other side where YouTube will give you more of an idea of a direct video you might enjoy more. However, in the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks for tuning in to this video, guys, and we hope to catch all of you in another. See you guys later.